Hello, everyone. RBG Kingdom Kid here back with some more Sly 3 Honor Among Thieves. In the previous video, we wrapped up an opera theater, and now it's time for the Rumble Down Under. So let's get right into it. Actually, before we do that, I'm, I'm actually curious. Did I actually get 100%? I did not. Huh. Oh, expert courses. Okay, so it's just... Uh, okay, that stuff I'm going to do on my own time, so... Alright, Rumble Down Under. Let's do it. Start the episode. At first, it seemed just like old times. The gang was back in action. But little by little, we learned that Murray's heart just wasn't in it. Without the guru's permission to give up on his Dreamtime training he'd never really feel comfortable returning to the gang. We knew we needed to help him out. So, we packed up our things, whipped up some quick disguises, and headed for the Australian Outback. Along the way, Murray told us story after story about his teacher's amazing abilities. <laughs> Apparently, this guru of his was capable of fantastic feats. He used the dream time to blend perfectly into his surroundings and even gain mental control over the weak-minded. <sighs> if even half the stories were true, then this was a guy I just had to meet. Our gang needed to grow its ranks for a chance to get inside the Cooper vault. And this guru, this outback mystic, was looking like the best recruit we could have ever asked for. However, when we finally arrived in the Outback, it was a shock to find that things had changed. And the Guru was nowhere to be seen. Again, in. Rumble down under. Your Demian, Australia, eight fourteen PM. Well, did not pronounce that correctly, but uh, well. New training are available for Murray in the hazard room. Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay. All right, Murray. Time to brush up on your power moves. The first one is throwing stuff. Pluck it and chuck it. That's me. To pick something up, just get close and hit the circle button. To throw, just face your target and press the square button. Circle, square, ain't hardly fair. Looks like I've got plenty of rocks to throw with. Try breaking all those pillars. Can do. Nice job. You can also pick 
up guards when they're knocked out. Great! I knocked the small guys out with one punch! You might have to be a little more subtle with the big flashlight guards. They're pretty tough. Sneak up behind this guy and sucker punch him while he's not looking. Then pick him up and throw him at the pillar. Gotcha. Sneak up, sucker punch, grab, throw, destroy, kid stuff. Let's see what you got. Knockout guards is to throw something at them. Ah, the old rock to the head routine. Yep, throw a rock at that guard to knock him out, then pick him up and throw him at that pillar. Can do, little brother. I love how they're like always using the Octavia. Grab him um. while he's out. Well done. Okay, what's different about this next guy? He's got a ton of cash in his back pocket. Chump, he's just asking, begging me to rob him. That's right. You may not have the agility or technology to pick his pocket, but you could use your strength to mug him quite thoroughly. Oh, yeah. I just knock him flat, then pick him up. Once you've got him above your head, press the circle button to shake loose any coins he has and collect the goods. Keep at it until he's empty. The Murray will give this high roller a shakedown he'll never forget. I love the fact that they're get, that they give both Murray and Bentley uh, uh, ways to uh, pickpocket. Okay, Murray. Oh God, the that jungle me. grab is one of your most powerful moves. You ready? Born ready. When facing off against smaller opponents, you can knock them into the air with your triangle button uppercut, and then grab them before they hit the ground by pressing the circle button. Okay, okay. Let me see if I've got it. Hit them with my triangle button uppercut, then yank them out of the air by pressing the circle button. That right? You got it. For this test, you'll have to pull it off three times and throw the guards at that pillar over there. Don't waste your time trying to fight them. Just focus on the technique. Bring on the pain. Fuck you. Here's the how much, uh,
Um, oh, oh, well. How many of those uh, train missions there are? Watch your step. They're sure to get rough defending their claim. My master spends most of his time up there in that cave, overlooking the valley and contemplating the depths of deepness. I really appreciate you breaking the news to him that I want to break off my training. No problem, pal. I'm looking forward to meeting him. Anybody you call master must be a heck of a guy. Oh, he's awesome! He'll get inside your head and freak you out six ways from Sunday. Uh, awesome. Damn it. Sorry, pal. This cave's empty. Got any other ideas where he might be? Well, that's his hut. But he doesn't really hang out there on account of the smell. The smell? It's a long story. I had to apologize up and down for like a month before he'd speak to me again. What did you do? The unspeakable sly. The unspeakable. Well, thanks for speaking of it. I'm headed for the hut. Unspikeable. Sorry, Murray. Nobody's home. And by the looks of it, I'd say the guru is fighting someone or something off here. I'm starting to think the miners might have got to him. You might be right. They'd come in and be all angry and yelling and he'd be all peaceful and they'd just get ticked. Then he'd try to find a middle way and they'd just go crazy and smash everything up and then haul him off. Where do you think they might have taken him? They got him! My master's a goner! Maybe we should get Bentley on the line. What's up? It's tough to say, but... 
But given the layout of the miners' camp, I'd venture a guess that they use that area with a high fence as a makeshift stockade. Hmm. Looks like there might be a way up using that cliff below. Shouldn't be a problem. Just keep an eye out for that gyrocopter. I'm positive it's what gave away the guru's position. Good tip. Thanks, pal. Gold rain. These miners have no respect for the Aboriginal sacred sites. They're drilling into everything. Ayers Rock, Kings Canyon, Wave Rock. The cultural insensitivity is sickening. Yeah, I looked at the trophy list uh, a while ago, and this seems like a pretty easy game to platinum. I mean, I am gonna have to do like those. Those quests again with those. I'm gonna have to do those uh, missions to be like, I'll oh, do this thing and that thing. You must be the guru. I'm a good friend of Murray's. He's come asking to be released from his training. Sure, I'll just bust you out of here and we'll go talk to him. Hi, how are you doing, You seriously won't leave without your gear? Yeah, I can see that the miners have really done a number on your land here. As for your walking staff and moonstone, me and my gang have a real talent for stealing back things that were wrongfully taken. Bump bump. Unleash the guru. The guru won't leave the stockade until he has his walking staff and his moonstone. He also insists that we purify Ayers Rock of all miners. Only then will the Dreamtime spirits be appeased and the guru will be free to use his powers. Sly must have impressed him in their conversation because now he is requesting that Murray and I meet with him individually. Something about judging our spiritual centers. I've discovered a passage for one of the miner's caves that should make getting up to the guru less difficult. He also mentioned that the miners had 
foolishly unearthed the Mask of Dark Earth. I guess it was his job to guard the thing, and now that it's out, bad things are sure to follow. Sounds like mumbo jumbo to me, but we've encountered some unexplainable phenomena over the years, so I'm not gonna rule it out as a threat to our operation. Okay. Spell Lunking, all right. before you today. I'm just not too sure he'll be pleased with my progress as a mystic. What are you talking about? You used the aboriginal ball form to great effect back in Venice. He'll be proud of you. Maybe, but I lost my temper and got in a fight with Octavio. To help me? I'm sure the guru is happy to see friends sticking up for each other. Head into this cave. It'll take you right up to it. Okay, Bentley. Caves ahoy! Caves ahoy. Alrighty. Time to do some blinking. Try throwing rocks to destroy those stalagmites. Of course, uh, throwing guards will work too. Good of having fists if you can't smack steel doors with them. 
It's too thick, even for you. No, to get through, we'll have to overload the pressure in this piston. You want me to punch it? I can do that. Use your aboriginal ball form to bounce on top of the piston and smash it down. Build up enough hydraulic pressure and the door is sure to open. Piston beware! You're about to be bounced! One, and I still took you piston chumps to school! That's a oh, big boy. Look at the size of that guy! He must be jacked up by that mask of dark earth the guru was warning us about. Curious, it seems to make the wearer much larger. Probably more aggressive, too. I can take him! My righteous quest! To see the guru won't be stopped by some big stupid freak in a mask! Even if you won, you'd have nowhere to go. The door through has an electric deadbolt. This whole area runs off the same circuit. Even the drills are linked up. Then I'll throw this clown into the drills! That might break the circuit! Give it a try! Remember, press triangle button to uppercut the fighter into the air, and then circle button to ground it. Keep it up, you did some damage. then and there we go open up I have returned my master the black water now runs clear I'd like to I am asking oh man yeah I want to join back up with my friends and uh we're hoping you'd come along too. Babaji? You'd love it in the gang. We have all kinds of fun. Hata Jopa, Hata Fing Ching, Hata Ja. 
Miners, gyrocopters, and a mask of dark earth? Yeah, that's a lot to deal with. But we'll help you, I promise! Oh yeah. Ooh, da, da. Thanks, Guru. I'm happy to see you too. Job completed. Oh, since Murray has another job. motor out to Ayers Rock and scare away those mining dingoes. Your guru wants it purified. Awesome! This is the biggest truck I've ever gotten to drive! I could crush houses with this baby! <laughs> so, what do I gotta do with this one? Okay, Bentley, you've got my interest. Though it looks like I may have to take care of a few guards if I'm gonna get at those drill controls. Defeat the guards and start the drill. Then Murray can begin phase two of my plan. Your tires. 
have to climb to the top of the drill tower and override the depth control system. Okay, Bentley. I'm on my way. Fuck. What the fuck were you going on about like size? There were so many scorpions going around. Still, like I didn't even get halfway through. Like I'd understand if I had halfway. Like, I'd understand if I had at least 10 before they started doing, like, that thing, but I didn't even have 10 yet, so... Oh my god. know that the expert one for this one's gonna be pain the ass. Go. There we go. Great job, Murray. Now back that. 
payload. No! Giant scorpions? Rod fight, mates! Uh-oh! <laughs> nice teamwork, guys. Ayer's rock is clean of miners. The guru will be pleased. More? Nope. Okay. It's all sly now, so let's go. Get him back. We'll do that job. We'll see how many jobs will be afterwards. And I might do another job, and then we'll claw it apart. I think that'll be good. Might as well, like, not even bother buying upgrades yet. I'll just keep, uh, in case they're like, oh, you need this upgrade for whatever mission. Besides, I think there's one more trophy that's related to, like, coins. I think I need, like, 2,500. So Given that we're dealing with miners, I bet they stash the goods in one of the caves around here. It's a secure location with plenty of guys on duty to provide protection. I agree. The most likely candidate is this mine shaft. It appears to have the highest number of workers coming in and out. Good place to start. I'm on it.
it'll be dark. Your optimizer goggles will make navigation easier. Okay. If they're oh. here, the guru's items would be stashed so at the dark. far end of this cave. Over here. Yeah. I need to be over there, so. Time to take you back to your rightful owner. These miners are smarter than they look. They booby trapped the moonstone. It looks like a light sensitive detonator. If I can get it outside and into the sunlight, it should power down. Oh, so that's.
for a second there. These caves have no ambient light whatsoever. Fortunately, it seems the Guru's Moonstone is providing enough illumination to let you see. Watch your step. These mine pits are deep. Gosh, oh. You f fuck. You fucking asshole. Damn it, you piece of shit. I honestly don't know why I get so mad at this game. What's so special about this staff? Another booby trap for a stick? These guys are paranoid. And from the sound of it, they've called in reinforcements. Nothing like a horde of angry dingoes to make things a bit more interesting. Um, excuse me? You can suck my balls. Ten percent done. Hello? Oh thank God.
Excuse me. Excuse me again, goddamn. Fuck! Get up there. How do I get up there? It's a news flash. rock and now I humbly deliver your walking stick and moonstone the time for escape has come Ooh, da, da. 
Thank you, you're too kind. But tell me, how do you plan to escape? Hope it's a Yeah, Zooks! You can transform yourself! Why, once you change shape, a guard is sure to come inside and investigate! Hey, Baba Honda! Hi, Baba Honda! Too true! Wait, here comes a guard! I disappear, but he's not going to stop looking at me. your business. Your talents are impressive, Guru. Have you just seen the Yes. Uh huh. Yeah. How's the song ever by Hina? I hear you. Those drills are tearing up the landscape. They appear to be fragile at the base. Ram a guard into it, and the whole apparatus should break apart. Oh, I'm done it here. Oh, yeah, some things never change. Okay. No guards close to it.
you won't go in this way, but oh well. I know, it's awful. However, the Lynx generator is weak, easily destroyed, provided you can jump a few guards over there and ram it. Ah, who do I? Damn it. Oh, I don't have to keep pulling down circle, huh? Okay. <laughs> up the guru has agreed to join our team provided we can rid his homeland of the dingo miners and deal with the mask of dark earth a tall order but we're up for it first we'll enlist the aid of some local wildlife to help fit out the miners ranks murray will feed our foes to a local giant crocodile with some luck, he'll take a liking to the taste of miners and chow down on them left and right. Second, we'll hit these guys where they live, or at least relax. If we can clear them out of this lemonade bar, it'll be a crippling blow to their morale. They'll be begging to go home. And finally, Sly will use some mining equipment to drill for radioactive oil deep beneath the dried lake bed. Trust me, it's the key to getting rid of the mask of dark earth. Okay. Well, guys, I think this is going to do it for this part of Let's Play Slide 3. In the next part, guys, we will uh, go and do our missions. So thank you all 
so much for watching this video. Guys, if you like the video, please give that like button a click and comment down below. Check about the video. Do you like about the video? Let me know, guys. What do you think about uh, the uh, second area, technically, and the fact that we now get to use a fourth character every now and then? That that sounds interesting. Well, I guess Carmilla, Carmilla was our fourth character in the first area, but now, yeah, well, so let me know. And as always, guys, hit the subscribe button so you don't miss a beat. And subscribe to the main channel, too. That's in the description below. As well as follow me on Twitter. Both my main Twitter, the RBG, can get Twitter in there, too. And thank you all so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time.